Good morning, how are you all doing? I got a, uh, got to show you guys something real stupid here. Look at these damn four-wheelers. They're uh, parking in our trucking spots, you know? That's uh, not a real smart idea. I just wanted to show you guys what not to do. I went back in the truck because it's too windy out here. There's probably a lot of noise in the background and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, he's four-wheeler sometimes, you know? We got so limited parking already. There's only a few parking spots up there. And then they got to park in two spots, two cars. Uh, you know, if they wanted to take up the spots, at least park behind each other, you know, but Hey, come on, you know, take up these trucker parking spots. There's plenty of parking up there on the building around the building there You know a bunch of parking up there, but no, they can't park up there. You gotta park in the truckers parking spot I mean jeez But yeah, I took my camera and I went over there and they're looking at me kind of funny, but hey, I don't care you want to be that stupid and pay, take up my parking spot then we'll film you and we'll put it on YouTube so with that we'll get going here <laughs>
This is what I captured on my dash cam today. It is illegal to pass on the right side, especially on the shoulder. So on here you'll see a motorcycle passing me on the right shoulder and I'm zooming in on it so you can see it a little bit better. Well, today has just been a strange day, I guess, for weird things I'm capturing on my video. And I'm also learning how to uh, zoom in and zoom out and all that fun stuff. So I slow this down to give you a close-up. Alrighty, just finished having some dinner or whatever, lunch, whatever you want to call it. At the TA over here. And uh, now we're going to go continue on our journey towards uh, Madison Hat, Alberta. Been uh, pretty windy up here today, but uh, at least we got nice and sunshine. I was talking to a buddy of mine there up in Ontario earlier, and he said they got quite a bit of snow up there in Ontario last night. So this is still a much better view to me than snow, so I won't complain. But uh, anyways keep on rolling all right just finished fueling up at the TA in Iowa on I-29 I can't pronounce the damn name but hey at least we are fueled up and uh, put the hammer down a little bit further yet I know it's dark already but I want to get a little bit further so that way it would be a little bit easier for me for tomorrow to continue on my journey so uh, all right I'll let you go uh, we'll be back a little bit later that way you can see me hey 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 we made it to a rest area so you can see you got the highway right over there we got one other truck up there yeah a couple of more trucks down on that side there but nothing much going on up here today but hey it's starting to get colder as the further north I go but hey that's all right we got ourselves a good day worth of driving in today. We got about a thousand and seven kilometers in for the day. I think that's uh, that's a pretty good day, I think. So uh, we got another 600 miles to go tomorrow, so that's another 960 kilometers, and we'll be in Minot, North Dakota. That always reminds me of Trucker Josh, you know? That's where I met him a while back ago in June, I believe it was, when we did one, uh, one YouTube video together with him, or where he put me in there anyways. Uh, we did record a little bit of a video up there, and uh, it always reminds me of him. But uh, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm.